Um, so it's gonna be a good day. Hopefully everybody has a good day today. Um, may God be with you. May the angels be with y'all. Um, um, <laughs> so we're gonna get really right to it. Uh, Heavenly Father, Father God, Jehovah God, thank you for today. Please forgive us for our sin. Please help me understand this word. Help us understand this word. And uh, so I can feed feed our brain and feed our soul and feed, feed our heart and feed our bodies and feed our spirit, Jehovah. And Jesus Christ, the, the Son of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Son of Jesus Christ, Jehovah. And rebuke, rebuke the devil, rebuke all witchcraft and rebuke all curses and rebuke all um, <clears throat> all witches and and and, and devils and, and satans and fear and anxiety and everything that does not originate from you Jehovah God re rebuke it Father now Father make it leave in, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, Lord rebuke it uh, flee de flee Satan flee devil and uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and please forgive us for our sins Jehovah God thank you amen amen Alright. So morning. We were at uh where were we at? Where was I at? Let me see here. I think I, I think I I marked it. I hope so, cause uh let's go to uh Hebrew seven twelve. Hebrew seven twelve says For since the priesthood is being changed, it becomes necessary to change the law as well. Let's, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Let's start from 11. Let's do uh, Hebrews 7, 11. All right, and I was going to say, uh, we'll read to uh, 14. Uh, 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 yeah, till 14. 11, 14. If then perfection was attainable through the Levitical priesthood, for it was a feature of the law that was given to the people. What further need there be for another period period to arise? Who said to be in the manner of Melchizedek and not in the manner of Aaron? For since the priesthood is being changed, it becomes necessary to change the law as well. For the man about whom these things are said came with another tribe from which no one has officiated at the altar for it is clear that our Lord has descended from Judah yet Moses said nothing about priests coming from that tribe okay and then it says we're going to go to read it 15 and 17 and it says and this becomes even clearer when another priest arises, who is like Melchizedek, who has become such, not by legal requirement that depends on fleshly descent, uh, descent, but by the power of the indestructible life, of an indestructible life, excuse me. For it is the witness of him, you are a priest forever in the manner of Melchizedek. Put this backwards or something for the night. Keep coming up. Excuse me. All right. So we're going to go to Romans 327. Yeah, just go to Romans 327. Let's go. But yeah, uh, have a good Tuesday. Just get it, get it. I got a little headache. I woke up with a headache. I tried to hide it, but I can't really hide it. But just have a good Tuesday. Have a good Tuesday. Stay strong. Don't, you know, and uh, do what you gotta do. So 327, when when there is a boast, when there is the boasting, there's no place for it. Though what law? Where there is boasting, there's no place for it. Through what law? That of works. No, indeed, but through the law of faith.
first one. Then we're gonna go to uh, First Corinthians nine twenty one. God, we ask that you pray with me with this, Father. In the name of Son, Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Thank you, Jehovah and Jehovah God. We ask for your presence to be with us this morning, today, our day, Father. And um, help us focus and pay attention. Thank you, Jehovah. First uh, Corinthians 9, 21. And that's going to say, um, thank you, Jehovah. To those without law, I became as without law. Read repeat that. To those without law, I became as without law. Although I am not without law toward God, but under law toward Christ, in order to gain those without law. To the weak, I became weak in order to gain the weak. I became all things to people of all sorts so that I might by all possible means save some. But I do all these I do all things for the sake of the good news in order to share it with others. Excuse me. Amen. I were to go to uh, Galatians six two Galatians 6 2. Should be right there. Right after Corinthians. And that says, uh, excuse me. Go on carrying the burdens of one another. And in this, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of the Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing... He is deceiving himself, but let each one examine his own actions and then he will have cause for rejoicing in regard to himself alone and not in comparison with the other per person. For each one will carry his own load. Amen. I we're going to go to, sorry, <clears throat> Colossians 2, 13, all the way, all the way to, to 22, oh, let's see, Colossians 2, verse 13, Indeed, that is why we also thank God unceasingly, because when you received God's word, which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of men, but just that it was truthfully is as the word of God, which is also at work in you believers. For your brothers became imitators of the congregations of God in union with Christ Jesus that are in Judea because you suffered at the hands of your own countrymen, countrymen, the same things that they also are suffering at the hands of the Jews, who even killed Lord Jesus and the prophets and persecuted us. Furthermore, they are not pleasing God, but are against the interests of all men, as they try to prevent us from speaking to people of the nation so that they, these might be saved. In this way, they always fill up the measure of their sins, but his wrath has at last come upon them. But when we were, we were, sep but when we were separated from you, brothers, from just a short time in person, not in our hearts, because our strong desire, we made every uh, effort to see you in person. For this reason, we wanted to come to you. Yes, I, Paul, tried not just once but twice, yet Satan cut across our path. For what is our hope or joy or crown of exaltation before our Lord Jesus at his presence? 
For what is our hope or joy or crown of exaltation before our Lord Jesus at his presence? Is it not in fact you? You certainly are our glory and joy. Amen. That's the wrong. What happened? Oh, you know what? That wasn't even the right. That wasn't even the right thing. Yeah. All right. 213. <laughs> that was the Thessalonians. Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Furthermore, though you were dead in your trespasses and in the sun and in in furthermore though you were dead in your trespasses and in an uncircumcised state of your flesh God made you alive together with him he kindly forgave us all our trespasses and erased the handwritten document that consisted of decrees and was in opposition to us he has taken it out of the way by nailing it to the torture stake. He has stripped the governments and the authorities bare and has publicly exhibited them as them as conquered, leading them in a triumphal procession by means of it. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you about uh, what you eat and drink or about the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Therefore, do not let anyone judge you about what you eat and drink or about the observance of the festival or of the moon of the or a Sabbath. Those things are a shadow of the things to come, but the reality belongs to Christ. Let no man deprive you of the prize who takes delight in a false humility and a form of worship of the angels taking his stand on the things he has seen he's actually puffed up without proper cause by his fleshly frame of mind and he is not holding fast to the head to the one through whom the whole body is supplied and harmoniously joined together by means of his joints and ligaments and made to grow with the growth that is from God If you die together with Christ with respect to the elementary things of the world, why do you live as if still? Why do you live as if still part of the world, but further subjecting yourself to the decrees? Do not handle nor taste nor touch, referring to things that are all perished with their use according to the commands and teachings of men. Although those things have an appearance of of wisdom in a self-imposed form of worship and a false humility a harsh treatment of the body they are of no value in combating the satisfying of the flesh mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm supposed to read we're going to carry on moving on forward <laughs> So uh, we're gonna go to um oh wait that twenty three or something else I think we're gonna go to uh, Acts thirteen thirty eight thirty nine excuse me Acts thirteen thirty eight thirty nine that's gonna be after John I believe thirteen thirty eight. Let it therefore be known to you, brothers, that through this one, a forgiveness of sins is, is being proclaimed to you, and that the form of, and that from all the things from which you could not be declared guiltless by means of the law of Moses, everyone who believes is declared guiltless by the means of this one. All right, sorry. Let's go to Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. By, the undeserved, by this undeserved kindness, you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your own doing. Rather, it is God's gift. No, it's not a result of works 
so that no one should have grounds for boasting. Amen. It's not because of works, it's because it's been given a gift to us. God's given us the gift of the uh, undeserved kindness through Christ. Let's go to um, Colossians. I just read that one. Okay, so Numbers uh, 18, 6, and 7. Numbers 18, 6, and 7. I felt like I read. Did I read this already? I mean, maybe not studied, right? I myself have taken your brothers. I myself have taken your brothers, the Levites, from among the Israelites as a gift for you. They are given to Jehovah to care for the service of the tent of meeting. You and your sons are responsible for your priestly duties pertaining to the altar and what is inside the curtain and you are to render the service render this service i have given this service of the priesthood as a priesthood as a gift to you and any unauthorized person who approaches should be put to death so you and your sons are responsible for the priestly duties pertaining to the altar and what is inside the curtain and you are to render this service I have given the service of the priesthood as a gift to you and any unauthor and any unauthorized person who approaches should be put to death amen we'll go to Leviticus uh 16 Leviticus 16 I think the first one is 2 I think it's it I think this is where is it I don't know I'm lost Levit 16.2 Jehovah said to Moses tell Aaron tell Aaron your brother that he may not come at just at any time into the holy place inside the curtain in front of the cover on the ark so that he may not die for I will appear over the cover in a cloud Jeho Jehovah said to Moses tell Aaron your brother that he may not come at just any time into the holy place inside the curtain in front of the cover on the ark so that he may not die for I will appear over the cover in a cloud and then we're going to go to 12 6 12 Leviticus uh, 16 12 he will then take the fire holder full of burning coals from the altar before Jehovah and two handfuls of fine perfumed incense and he will bring them inside the curtain. Amen. Uh, Leviticus 23, 27. 23, 27. Ah. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. I don't like when it happens. Twenty three twenty seven says, um, however, on the tenth of the seventh month is the day of atonement. However, twenty seven, on the tenth of the seventh month is the day of atonement, you should observe a holy convention, and you must afflict yourself and present an offering made by by fire to Jehovah. What is today? 19th? Yeah. 7th month. Alright. <clears throat> We're going to go to
Exodus 40, 19. Paper down to the day today. That one's gonna say uh, he spread out the tent over the tabernacle and placed the covering of the tent over it, just as Jehovah had commanded Moses. Amen. We're gonna go to uh, Exodus 26, 7 and 14. <clears throat> 7 says, You will also make cloths of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle. You will make 11 tent cloths. 14. You will also make a covering for the tent of the ram skins dyed red. And over that, a covering of sea seal skins. Amen. Didn't try to find a good little stopping point. Um, so, 619. Can you do 619? Hebrews 6.19 We have this one hope as an anchor for the soul but sure and firm enters it within the curtain. Amen. Hebrews 9.3 But behind the second curtain was a tent compartment called the most holy oh that's my spot 7 to 14 <clears throat> but the high priest enters alone into the second comp compartment once a year not without blood which he offers for himself and for the sins that the people committed in ignorance. Thus the Holy Spirit makes it clear that the way into the holy place had not yet been revealed while the first tent was standing. This tent is an illustration for the present time. And according to the arrangement, both gifts and sacrifices are offered. However, these are not able to make the conscience of the man doing sacred service perfect they have to do only with foods and drinks and various ceremonial washings there were legal requirements concerning the body and were posed until the appointed time to set things straight however when christ came as a high priest of the good things that have already taken place he passed through the greater and more perfect tent not made with hands that is not of this creation. He entered it into this holy place, not with the blood of the goats or young bulls, but with his own blood, once for all time, and obtained an everlasting deliverance for us. For if the blood of the goats and the bulls and the ashes of the heifer sprinkled on those who have been defiled sanctifies for, for the cleansing of the flesh, how much more will the blood of the Christ who through an everlasting spirit offered himself without blemish to God, cleanse our conscience from dead works so that we, so that we may render sacred service to, to the living God. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. We're going to stop it right there in this video. Y'all have a good day. I'm probably going to just chill out in this video right now. It's 5.52 right now. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Okay, start of your day, get some coffee, however, uh, water, I don't know, but have a great day. Uh, God be with y'all. Uh, <clears throat> Jehovah God, we want to thank you so much for your for your word. We want to thank you so much for your love, Jehovah God. We want to thank you so much for your kindness, Jehovah God. We want to thank you so much for your, just for your blessings and for your healing, Jehovah God. We ask that you continue to, to continue to love us, Father. Continue to uh, spread your love through us, Jehovah God. Spread your word, Jehovah God. May your name manifest, Jehovah God. Continue to manifest and, and and make good always to over, overcome evil, Jehovah God. So we thank you so much, Father, for everything you do. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, uh, uh, Lord, we thank you. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, please forgive us for our sins. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, rebuke the devil. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and, the man, and uh, Jehovah God, may he bless us, watch over us, protect us, keep us safe. In the, name, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. I decree and I declare.
In my name is Son Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Y'all have a great day.